Hey everyone, it's Miss Phantom Fangs here. I've had a few requests for the Merton's water monitors. So, this is a video of these guys. This little girl here is Pandora and she's three years old. And see how quick they are? She's slipped out of the water and is already under the log eating a fish. Uh, they've got some feeder fish in their water tray, which I eventually want to upgrade to have half of the enclosure filled with um, aquarium glass. But as it is, the tray's big enough and deep enough for them both to submerge at the same time, so it's just what I'm using at the moment. This here is Nemesis. Nemesis is a male and he's four years old. Nemesis is fairly tame. I'm just going to do right now is I've got a day old chicken that's been defrosted. So I'm going to offer it to Nemesis. So I've got sand as the substrate, shaking it, making sure it's dead. I do actually want to change that to gravel as well. Look at his chops. So the enclosure will be going through a revamp. All right, while well, Nemesis finishes to get finishes getting that down, I'll just talk a little bit about the enclosure. Uh, the temperatures that I like to have it, the heat globe that is sort of above the water is 150 watts. So they like it nice and hot monitors. Ideal basking spots is between 40 to 60 degrees Celsius. So that the rest of the tank, you want temps of between 28 to 35 degrees Celsius. These guys like it hot.
as you can see from Nemesis they've got such beautiful markings it's got the greys and the yellows and the blues So these guys I'm feeding probably every four days or so in the hotter months. During winter I tend to just feed them when they look like they're actively hunting. They can shut down and not eat at all. Uh, right now they're sort of eating as much as they can, getting ready for brumation as it's starting to get colder. He's got the legs sticking out, he looks kind of funny there. Yeah, so I do have some artificial plants in the enclosure. There's one there, this is a hide that I have. And there's the 150 watt heat globe that I was talking about. I've got the logs to hide in. It's another artificial plant. Like I said before, sand is the substrate at the moment but we'll be switching over to gravel and making half of the enclosure a um, glass aquarium as well just got to fit out the sizes and get that organized so lovely Pandora his girlfriend's three years old and she's hiding under a log at the moment eating her fish and Nemesis here is four years old and he's um, quite boisterous and doesn't care if I'm standing here watching him eat he's not secretive at all he always fairly com much comes up to me when, I've, when I open it and wants to see what I'm doing and tolerates me, doesn't tail whip me or anything like this. Uh, Pandora's not so keen for human interaction. She'll tail whip and carry on and try and get away whenever I open the enclosure to do anything. Alright, so what he was just doing then was pushing, using the um, log to push the food saw that just to push the leg in a little bit while he pulled um, tried to push it into his mouth a bit more so they're quite uh, clever animals he's figuring it out <laughs> not the most graceful eater but we can't all be perfect can we so yeah this is the tray that they have full of water as long as uh, what you've got is big enough for them to submerge their body in you know that's all they really need but I mean ideally I'd have a bigger water source so they could swim as well because they're really good swimmers and they do enjoy swimming so that's where I'm going to get at but this indoor enclosure is only a fairly new one That's what he's doing there with the pushing of the legs, the log. Yeah, so we've got large feeder fish in there at the moment, just swimming around. And they pick those off. They don't usually last all that long. Got a, you need to have a really good filtration system. So I've got a very good um, filter there, it pumps the water, keeps it clean, of course there's still sand in the bottom, that's pretty much unavoidable, but yeah, once I've got the aquarium built and the gravel and everything it should be good. Alright, so how's he going? Still got the legs, looks like he's making some progress, he's figuring out this whole log thing. can see the muscles in his neck as he's trying to get the chicken down 
when he's succeeding. There we go. Aren't they amazing? Here we are. Lovely. The thing I absolutely love about monitors is they're just so prehistoric looking. Like this is like as close to the dinosaurs as you can get. I mean besides crocodiles. But just amazing. Living dinosaur. They never cease to amaze me. But that's pretty incredible. Good job, Nem. So he's pushing it further down. That's what the movements with the neck's all about. With that beautiful big tongue. So what he'll do now is um, bask and digest that chicken under the heat. Isn't he amazing? I would have to say he's probably my favourite reptile that I own. Stunning boy. Yeah, so he's got fish here to pack out, which I'm sure he will. Uh, I put 12, there was 12 put into there today, and uh, I know that they won't last all that long. Usually by the next morning, by the time I've woken up, they are all gone. He's looking at me now like, all right, where's the other one? Can I have some more? But that was a decent enough feed for him for a few days anyway. Uh, I like to give them a bit of variety. They like their fish. They also eat uh, mints. I get kangaroo mints, beef mints. They can have um, rodents, like small rats, mice. Uh, Pandora particularly likes rodents. She likes, she's pretty much eating hopper sized rats at the moment. Nemesis eating a little bit bigger. But Nemesis will eat anything. He'll eat chickens, mince, fish. Pandora doesn't actually normally like too many of the fish, but we got her on film just before at the start uh, munching on a fish, so. She mustn't mind them too much. I think she just prefers rats if she can have them. But, yeah, I just like to give them a little bit of variety. Anyway, that's the water monitor video done. So if anyone has any questions or comments, suggestions, please pop them down below. I'd love to see them. Well, thank you for watching. And I have received a lot of requests at the moment for to do certain videos, especially after I did the full reptile collection video. I've received um, quite a few requests to do specific videos on specific animals. Uh, but, yeah, I've received quite a few and work and everything gets in the way, so I'll do them as I can do them. Uh, this was probably the most requested video, the Merton's Water Monitor. And he's going to go fish now. Right. Can I go and bask? Yeah, so it's, it is getting cooler now, so that's why I've put them in the indoor enclosure. But I do have an outdoor enclosure for them. But yeah, it's just starting to cool down, so they need to... I feel safer having them inside. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. And I look forward to hearing the comments.